There it is, LS, the Gandrid Chevrolet LSX 376, 376 cubic inches, B15, 15 pounds of boost. We got the Whipple on there. We got the wires. There's the, uh, the fuel rails are hooked up. This is the coolant for the supercharger. It's got its own little coolant. Hey, we even got my spark plug wires, the XL 9000 ceramic tip. Ultimate headers plugged in, power steering pump. And the, uh, where is it? The amazing thing to me is if you look at, see that? Yeah, 10, 10, 22. Today is 10, 10, 23. It's my 55th birthday. It's going to 55. So, uh, Let's hear this thing sing. What do you say? That's the dino room. And this is the uh, the secret office. The secret. I got Dennis with the hat. And what is your name, sir? Gary. Gary, Dennis nice and you. Gary. Nice to meet you, sir. And this is... Where... Oh. Oh. <laughs> it's alive. It's like... It's... That was easy. Idles like a pussy cat? Yes, yes. it does. <laughs> yes. Little cat. Oh! And that's the dude. Hey, man, how are you? Casey himself. Four inch pulley on the top. Now we're putting a 3 7 on it. Just to Wait, you had a four inch pulley on the top? We had a four inch pulley on the top. It was like 700 oars. Right here. <laughs> Pretty mild. And now we're putting a 3 7 just to give it a little more boost. So the three, the four inch pulley with a. Oh, my heavens. That's pretty. That's some torque for you. So yeah. nice and fun. That's lovely. Oh, my heavens. Yeah, wow. So your boost is right here. Your boost was like so 3,800 RPM. It started just below and then got up to almost 11. So smaller pulley up top. A little bit smaller. It should get you close to 12. 12, okay. We'll see. 12 pounds of boost. Yep. Okay. What was that? I just turned the water off for the dyno break. Oh, the, okay. Make a half pull here first just to see where we're at. Pressure is 
pushing the oil through those valves first because now you got a blower, so it's going to push a little harder. <laughs> Better safe than sorry. 100%. Did you see where you're at right now? 760. That's. Yeah, that one, like that there, the front one here, yeah. So what, what's this in the trash can? That is our state-of-the-art <laughs> intercooler. It is, okay, that's okay. Oh, it is blowing. Just for time, call for time. Yeah. Puffing just a little smoke. And what kind of uh, oil is used when you, uh, when you're doing your thing? For breaking, we use uh, breaking oil. 40, uh, yeah, non synthetic 1540 for breaking. Why non synthetic? Uh, just to help everything seal a little bit better. Okay. Just seems to help the ring seal everything. <laughs> <laughs> a little there. I can't believe we walked right into the dino testing tune. How long does it take you to get it hooked up this morning? I can't believe it was so late. Well, it's only about an hour. I mean, with two oh. of us working on it, it doesn't take too long. Okay. Let's see if oh. we can make you a 775. He's got all the pretty colors. Checking all your vitals. All right. All right, so how do you go about from 760 to 775? What? Uh, we're just going to add a little more timing, uh, leave the air-fuel ratio where it is. We probably could lean that out a tick, but we're going to leave the fuel in it and give it a little bit of spark. Okay. Mm. All with the push still, of a button. Yeah, yep. still still conservative, but we're just trying to play it safe. Let's see what it'll make. Oh, hello. oh, thank you. Oh, that's thank you. Where did I leave? I built on the desk. On the desk, yeah. Thank you. Sixty-six. Okay. So, if we were to not leave it stock and change to your cam and lifters, what would you run it to then? Yeah, cam, spring, lifters, and possibly valves, but most likely just springs and whatnot. And then we run it up like what seventy-three, seventy-five is usually what we can run them up. Okay. Yeah, seventy-two, seventy-three. Yeah, it gave us a little bit mid-range, but it all met up at the big end. This is just like an episode of Engine Masters. <laughs> Sorry, did I say that out loud? <laughs> and you know what I like the most? I, I, Benny, that anal retentive son of a gun. Look at how all the pulleys are all matched. Isn't that beautiful? Come on, that's a thing of beauty right there. He does that all the time. I yeah, know. It's what he, he gets just. He said he's OCD, and I was like, I'm glad you're the one putting it. It looks fantastic. He freaks out right. if you if you freaking move them, tweak them. I love it. You want to come in there? Oh, I thought you'd never ask. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, there it is alive. The big 10 rib belt. So what size are the headers? Two inch. Okay. All right, I think that's exactly what I have on mine. No, maybe one, anyways. Nice. And it's air conditioned in here. Yeah. More stairs. Rooms under vacuum. So 
760 at 65 or no 66. 4L80E stage 4. So I think with the 770, I can stick with that transmission and not have to go to a billet because I think my transmission's rated up around there. So I just wanted to make sure that uh, this base tune that will email to you or whatever is set up yeah, for, for, for 4L80. Awesome. Um, and you said it wasn't not made or boxed again, correct? Yes, sir. Holly Dominator, you got it. Shoot right in. Like I said, you'll have to go online and do the update because he's only on four right now. But okay. he'll have to go out and do a, do an upgrade. All right, just start it back up. We're going to double check some idle characteristics. And we try to get this stuff as close as you can, but still the weight of your torque converter and what you do for exhaust, what you do for air intake. We try to get it as close as you can, but this stuff here still might need to be massaged when it's in the car. Okay. I mean, as yep. far as the startup characteristics and just because there's so much difference in mass behind the motor right now that it's probably going to be in your car. So once it's in the car, do I take it to West Tech or can I call you up and you can remote? Uh... Yes, you can do that. We can remote, oh. we can remote in. Okay. I do a lot of them where you hotspot your phone to your MacBook, driving down the road, and just put your MacBook on the, on the seat beside you and I'll be tuning on while you're driving down the road. No way! Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. Okay. Yeah. Gonna run nice and cool all day long, right? Yeah. All right. All right. I guess the dyno session is done. Seven. What was it? Seven. Seven seventy-three. Seven seventy-three. Sixty-six hundred. And now they're going to pickle it. Pickle it. Pickle it. All right. What does that mean? Because I know getting pickled. Ah, <laughs> uh, just preserving things. Because uh, sometimes. I don't know how long it's going to be for you the next time this is going to run, but a lot of these high-end car builds, it's probably a year or two from the time they get the motor. Oh, no way. A year? Oh, yeah. It'll probably be next year, so that's a few months away. 
And uh, oh, did you hear that? High end engine build. <laughs> Oh, there's a okay, fuel pump. Different fuel pump. Yeah, then we got our high volume fuel pump there. And this is just the lower volume. Because all we're going to do is just idle. We're not going to run and make any folds or nothing. So. All right, you guys do this all the time. How did this thing, how did it do? Runs really nice. I Real smooth. Awesome. A lot of people like the camshaft for the chop noise. And that makes some of the tuning a little bit more difficult, but everybody's got to have the potato, potato, and the exhaust. I was in Pleasanton, and a, I say that potato, potato a lot, and a lot of people don't get it. And I say it on the mic, and a guy came up to me and said, I've got something for you. Well, what did I do now? It's like, uh, he made shirts, potato, 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 because I said, so I got a, yeah, the potato shirt. It's like, or the potato camshaft, so kind of, uh, I'm glad you said that. Yeah, I don't need the chop. I just want it to run and uh, be reliable. Yeah, this is kind of, like Dennis said, this is kind of the same combination we do for airboats, and they run wide open all day long. So you should take this to the Audubon, and you can go 200 miles an hour for half a day if you want. Giddy up. <laughs> all right, so fuel supply is off the rails. We need different fuel supplies going on to, to uh, pickle the engine. took the old one off that new one's going on just for shipping because you can't ship these with a uh, with any oil in them Correct. now we'll take the old filter and cut it apart and make sure there's no creatures in there all right The biggest thing I look at most of the time is the bottom of the can. And there's very few. Very few flakes. Good sign. Good sign. I mean, you're always going to have flakes in a filter. Because an oil filter has got to do its job. It's made to catch everything that's in there. But she passes inspection. There we go. It's official. It passes inspection. All right. It's so quiet. She's 
draining out all the oil. And crate it up and ship it off. Pickled on the floor. <laughs> nice. Wow. And the Wagner Automotive Engine Dyno. The Superflow. All right, where's this go now? Uh, we'll just run it over here until they get a chance to throw in the box. Crazy up. I just got flashbacks of Indiana Jones. Raiders of the Lost Ark, they're crating it back. We're never gonna see it again. There she goes. And there it is. Gary, thank you, sir. Gandridge Chevrolet LSX 376B15, Wegner Automotive Front Accessory Drive, and the Whipple, three liter hot rod supercharger. Giddy up.